hi everyone this is a second take of this video the first uh, video I posted on the same topic I had to delete because the audio was rather bad I didn't realize the position of the microphone on this device which is my first Samsung device ever um, I think it's around the bottom of it while the uh, speaker is located elsewhere on my iPhone um, or my Apple devices, uh, mobile devices that I usually use, the microphone and the speaker is on the same spot. So anyway, I posted a brief uh, minute or less than a minute, I think, video on my Instagram account about my current developing thoughts around the suit of coins with the court cards from the Margaret Peterson Tarot. Uh, the court of coins or as I would call it uh, the court of earth I tried to um, look at each of the suits away from the naming of each suit coins feathers flames and cups and bring it down to their basic um, element for each suit so I call this the court of earth the court of air the court of fire and the court of water just to simplify uh, my thought processes as well as our discussion because or when I share my thoughts upon reflecting on them and just dialoguing with all of you because there's so many layers of stuff to um, work around with this particular deck so I thought simplifying say coins to earth is uh, will ensure that all of us know what we're talking about because sometimes people call it coins some pentacles some discs and others would be stones yet others would be crystals and a variety of other things so by saying um, courts of earth and court of air I hope to bring down the um, concepts to its most basic commonly agreed uh, elements for each other's suits so in this case it's mother of coin father of coins daughter of coins and son of coins and so the suit of earth and my take on this, um, initially, like all of these ones, I usually get a glimpse of what the story is about from mother and father. So in this case, from the poem and from the illustration here, you have the tree. And over here, you have man-made um, things like, I mean, horse is not really man-made, but there is that man on top of a horse. You know how we conquer beasts of our lands and... Um, somehow make them serve us and then you have buildings over here I think they're buildings anyway it looks like some form of high-rise in the background there um, so others in the other cards such as um, one of these for example in the father of the suit uh, you see cars you see it's basically the things man the things human have conquered is symbolized in this particular uh, court system as the father as the young as the male energy as the male principle and so this one for me is mother nature this is father civilization this is daughter of consciousness between the creator and the createe or the creator and the created whether it's in relation to ourselves and the things we create or in relation to ourselves and nature that we are created from or that we are created as a part of and then here is sun of awareness of our source and the return attempt to be in line and to be in sync back with our source that is mother earth and then the cycle I tend to see these court cards in the Margaret Peterson tarot like that uh, the stages goes like that and then it goes like that in a way I suppose all linear stages in life are actually circular anyway but that's a whole other um, chat for a separate time for a separate video and so let me share with you really quickly the poetries in the handbook which triggers uh, which trigger the main concepts for me and which led me to my current thinking around the suit of coins or around the court of earth of the Margaret Peterson tarot deck so mother of coins says this mother of earth I am my being is defined by growth and decay my body and my vision 
are wide awake and present. Life has painted me with fine strokes and woven me into trees, flowers, fruits, plants, animals, and the earth, and the earth's organism, which brought us all into being. I am the provider of nourishment. I add flesh to bone. When the moon changes, my body responds with red lines. I dwell in the feet, legs, pelvis, belly, organs, etc., etc. And then the father of coin says this. I think I've read this out in one of my videos、uh, discussing the court cards from this deck. I feel a strong attraction to the woman who brought me into this world. Part of me wanted to remain with her, but the laws of evolution required different measures. My mind has tried to understand this unquenchable longing. I taint my desires and my body, fueled by the feeling of separation. I restrained what are called animalistic drivers, drives, and instincts. Out of this feeling of sorrow and being deeply wounded, I created mighty buildings. I built cathedrals and scraped the skies. I cultivate the land, build gardens and terraces, and harvest. The The crops to secure our food supply. I discover unknown continents and dig up the earth for treasure. I hoard and I distribute. And when I, when greed overcomes me, I kill. Forgetting my origins and my roots, I turn vicious. Remembering my connectedness, I use my abilities to serve my community. The woman I call my companion lifted the veil of my delusion. And so, again for me, this is mother. Earth. This is father civilization. From what you just heard, and also from you know the picture, as I said, there is that man or human conquering the world to serve ourselves or our need or our survival or whatever it is, and then in the process of trying to prop to our own survival as part of this earth, we forget that we are part of that earth. That's how I see that anyway for now. And then we have the daughter of coins over here. Where you can see a figure standing within that、um, structure here, but slowly things seems to be flowing out of that structure. There is that here, like a multifaceted stone that looks like a gem or a diamond. And、uh, as I've mentioned before in my Instagram short video, I see this as that awareness between us, the creator and the created, and the things we create, and that ultimately. The civilization that we surround ourselves with, the creation that we surround ourselves with, sometimes made us think that we are the creator, and we forget that we are also the created. And during moments of natural disasters, such as earthquakes, flood, tsunami,、um, volcano eruptions, which I've experienced when I was younger,、um, all sorts of things like that, I grew up in Indonesia. It is the、uh, fire belt. I think they call it all volcanic belt. And of course, where I am now, we sit right on yet another volcanic、um, rose. So we have a lot of earthquakes where I am. And、uh, of course, nobody can forget the tsunami and of course the earthquake Christchurch.、Um, In one instance,、um, it shook so bad. I was on the fifth floor that everything around my apartment at the time fell, and the feeling of unsettledness of every time there's a little shake after that, my heart would race and I would palpitate. And I can't imagine how people in Christchurch and anywhere else with much larger disastrous earthquakes cope really, because. It was relat relatively huge for where I am,、um, but compared to the kind of earthquakes that has been experienced all over the world, that was、um, relatively on the minor side. And yet, it was I, I was shaken by that experience. It's not that I do not remember that we are but a humble, small, tiny part of the vast universe that we have absolutely no control over. That we are not the boss of our own life. We are, we are. But you know, in this in this universal scheme of things, as、uh, the the things that insurance companies would qualify as quote unquote the act of God, whether you believe in God or not, it, that expression in itself, that phrase in itself,、uh, typify or、um, K 
came out of this understanding of the larger things beyond our control, beyond our understanding that sometimes just happened and annihilate a whole life, a whole town, a whole way of being. Within an instant, everything is gone and something new emerged and you have absolutely no choice in the matter. And I think in places or in countries where I've lived in what another country where everything is human made because uh, in terms of nature there wasn't much there to begin with so the country was built on things that are created and shaped by the human mind by the human hands uh, human civilization and that particular country that I lived in another country not the country of my birth hardly ever experience any act of God I don't recall any flooding I don't recall any um, volcanic eruption I don't really recall any earthquake when I was living there the worst that happened in that country when I was living there for a few years was some fogging and haze which uh, came from neighboring countries who had either forest fire or some such incidents um, it's just but my point is that I feel that without the shake of mother nature, without father civilization being questioned in its authority and ultimate um, reign, this won't happen. Um, you know, like the end of the poetry, the end of the section from the booklet that talks about father of coin, um, you know, mother, mother, earth you know take down that illusion that delusion of before my eyes it lifted the veil up and we suddenly realize we are the created as as much as we are the creator i see that as a symbol of our creation the stone coming from the earth does not look like that with our hands we polish with our technology we put that effort into polishing it into something else and really nothing really uh, that nothing that emerged from our humanity's creation can be said to emerge solely from our humanities. It came out from Mother Nature as well, or as much as, or if not um, mainly, or if not exclusively so, that everything that we created have to have its foundation and basis of the natural law, otherwise we can't we can't create anything, you know, things like gravity, things like the reality of erosion when you chop down trees and countries or cities becoming flooded in an increasingly alarming rate because deforestation was out of control, for example. And so, you know, that, that at the end of that poem was very poignant when, um, let me read that out to you again, um, when it says that mother reminds, um, let me just give me a minute. The woman I call my companion lifted the veil of my delusion. Um, exactly that. And once that delusion that we are God as such, or that we are not answerable to anybody else but ourselves, and we are reminded during a tsunami how much of Mother Nature is there and the wrath of Mother Nature when it's ignored. And then you're shaken to your very core as civilization is swept and completely destroyed, wiped off this earth. And then you suddenly realize you have that awareness of um, you are part of the universe. You can't stand too proud of your own creation because you are the created as much as you are the creator. And that is the daughter of coins for me is that is that the birth of the awareness between the birth of the awareness of the humanity that we're a part of as not only the creator but also the created and then once we have obtained that jolt real of re, once we are jolted by that realization we come to a stage where we then seek to return to be in sync with mother nature, um, the flow, you can see all the flows are now out and the box or that squares um, dissipated almost. If you look at the 
if you look at the um, picture here, there, there, and then boom, it's sort of, and then we are back. When we passed away, dust to dust, earth to earth, dust to dust, we are back in Mother Nature. I'll read out to you the poetry associated with the Son of Coins. And by looking at that picture as well as reading this, this is how my thoughts are at the moment due to reading the poem as well as looking at that image. Son of Coins, my mother gave me a sense of security and knowledge of growth process. My father showed me how to add structure to my strength. My sister initiated me into the laws of metamorphosis. Through being aware of all patterns, I avoided the habit of senseless cycles. I have taken off the armor of my forefathers. Feeling my way towards the inside, I have begun to loosen up the hardness of my muscles. Using the way of yogic wisdom, I surrender to my body. My stereotypical world of ideas begins to begin to dissolve. New connections are being made at the sacred bone at the end of my spine. Following the way of this power, I feel the soft and the weak. My boundaries are shifting. With respect and awareness, I open myself towards new encounters. And so that is my thoughts about the suit of coin or the court of earth for now from the Margaret Peterson Tarot. And I have briefly outlined my current thinking about the court of air or the suit of feathers there. And I am still trying to decipher and understand a bit better the daughter of flames, son of flames, daughter of cups and son of cups. I've kind of get a sense of mother of flames as the source of all creation father of flames as a creation in a sense of our creative civilization or uh, that sort of um, creative force of dis uh, the creative force of destruction but I haven't really moved forward from there and mother of cups I see as the super ego that subconscious unconscious wisdom and father of cups I see as um, the subconscious in a sense of the um, the ego really and so my thoughts of that is still forming it's um, all I know is that is I am currently looking at the cups in terms of consciousness ego and subconsciousness and that kind of level of the internal and so I will follow up with more thoughts uh, once I um, come to some sort of conclusion and see what you think about that and please feel free to um, share your thoughts because I would like to hear um, other perspectives as well Thanks for listening so far. Bye.